milk house here and this transfer pump that pumps the milk from the jar over to the bulk tank is uh, is running really hot a couple times. <clears throat> so we're, we've got another used one that we found that went through the electric shop and made sure it was good. And we're gonna replace that. So you can hear that there's a bearing going out of this one. <laughs> It runs real dry and sometimes it even screeches, so this cover's supposed to be on here. We already took it off. So we're going to go ahead and open this panel up here. And you can see that we got to take the pump off of the actual motor. That's what's, there's just a pump under here and a seal. We'll get into that in a little bit here. We got to put that on the actual motor here on the shaft. Okay, so we ended up actually taking the wiring out of the motor. We couldn't get the, there's a nut here. It was all seized on there, so it might make it a little easier anyway. We'll see. Hopefully we can figure it out. We kept track of what the wiring was here. So now we got to take this elbow off and take it apart here so we can get it away from the jar before we pop the motor off the bolts. There's four bolts on the back side here that hold the motor to the actual bracket there. So there's a flapper in here that helps create suction and it is up. That's how it sits in there, just like this, right after the pump. So we got a new flapper for it, but that's how it sits. So it's facing up like that. So before we take, actually take the motor off, we're gonna loosen these up you can see they've been off a few times, just trying to, there's a ceramic seal in there that over time leaks. So we're just gonna loosen this up enough to have it loose. There's one on the back side here too. That way later we can get it apart easier. And we don't have the motor bolted down. So we got the old motor off. The bolts are pretty rusty, so we're going to put some anti-seize on them. I'm going to start taking this pump apart here. So the first step is we took those two rubber bolts or plastic uh, nuts off. And then this is just a clamp to hold the housing here to the face plate. So I'm going to pop that off. And there's going to be a gasket right there. We have a new one. You can see that there's that ceramic bushing on the left side there. That's going to be replaced for sure with a new one while we have it apart. If you have bubbles in here, if you have bubbles up in the uh, jar, it's usually because there's it's not sealing tight against right there that ceramic piece versus that rubber piece. Okay, so this was on. This is the housing here, and it just comes off but I think I actually found our problem. There's usually a clip on here that holds everything together. And I believe you can see there's a little bit of wear there that that clip came off. So it was actually pushing this impeller against the housing, causing it to overheat. So we'll have to get a new clip for it. Okay, so we're gonna pop this impeller off. And then this plate should come loose. Yep. And there's it's important that this is machined really well because that seals against this ceramic piece right here. And that's that seals also against the rubber piece, but the hard part is getting this ceramic piece to seal against the plate. So we got a new one of those as well. So we're gonna pop this rubber piece off. It goes like that. And then we got a, there's this collar here. It's just got a Allen screw that goes down the middle of it. And we'll, then we'll slide that piece off, two Allen screws. And we'll put the studs in the, the new one and we'll start putting it all back together. So this is a 1 8 Allen screw. So we're moving the studs over. The two long ones go up opposite of each other and the two short ones go opposite of each other. So we've got them out. I was kind of worried they're pretty, everything's pretty corroded here. 
but if you just give it a good tap, they come loose pretty easy. So, so we've got the new collar on that starts everything. And then there's a seal kit that we get from Gia. This is the seal kit and it's got everything in it, including that ceramic piece, a new flapper valve, all the gaskets. So we're gonna, we're completely rebuilding it. And there's the, it even comes with a new clip that was off of ours. So we're gonna put that on and put it all back together here. Actually it comes with two flappers, but we only need one in our setup. So we got the new green rubber gasket on and then next comes the ceramic piece. So the ceramic piece has got three grooves in it and they just line up with these grooves. So it's the same either way, both ways. You can flip it around, it doesn't matter. And they just line up with those three grooves. So there's a groove and you just wanna make sure it's sealed tight against the uh, green gasket there. It'll all fit in there nicely. And the next step is the plate and that ceramic rests against this piece on this plate. So we'll slide that on next. So nothing is tight right now. Everything's got slack in it and we'll actually pry between this piece and the motor housing once we get everything put together here to uh, make sure that everything's tight between here between there and especially between this steel plate and the ceramic piece that's otherwise if you don't have it tight you'll have a lot of air bubbles and the pump won't work so the last part of this is the impeller and it just lines up with the grooves and then we got a clip that goes on the end here slide that on that was what we were missing last time that caused all this drama so before we put the actual housing on we're going to actually take this motor and mount it up there we got a new jar of anti-seize, brand new. I was using a stick to get the last little bit of the other one out. I guess this is what it feels like to be rich. And we're gonna put them on the bolts so they can come loose a little easier next time. So we just stuck one bolt in there, then we can rotate this out of the way to get everything else set up on there. You can see everything's slotted so that we can get it all lined up properly. So that kit comes with a new housing seal just, you can see that there's a chamfered end here and that the gasket is also chamfered. So make sure those line up properly as you put it together. That gasket's on there. And we'll put the housing on just like that. So we have yet to tighten a single bolt up on here. Everything's just sitting loose. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna line this up and put a gasket in there and tighten these bolts up that hold the motor so we're lined up properly. So we got these bolts tight. We first put this on, made sure everything was lined up properly, put the clamp on. We don't want it hanging from the glass. Then we tighten these bolts up and then we tightened this, this gasket, this housing up uh, on both sides. That's tight. The next thing we're gonna do is is put a screwdriver in to push this everything tight that way. So we're just prying it over, not with very much pressure, but enough just to keep pressure on everything. You still want it to be able to spin freely, not super freely, but spin. So there's some drag on it, but it still does spin. It kind of gives you an idea how much pressure should be on it. So we're putting this new elbow on, and there's the new flapper. It'll sit right on like that. So we got it all set into place. We got it wired at the motor. Now the question is, did I power, did I wire it properly? So it, if we turn this on, it should run for five seconds or something. That's usually what happens. So we're gonna turn the circuit breaker on. Yep, it's working. Hopefully it shuts off. Yep, there it goes. So everything looks like it's wired properly at least. So now we're gonna run the wash and just see what we got, if we got any bubbles. So there's no bubbles until after it pumps, so everything's working well. We're on the wash right now just to make sure it was working. So everything's working properly, we're good to go. Thanks for watching. Hope you don't have problems or you got to figure it out if you do. Have a good day. 
you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button below. And if you want to see more videos like this come up in your feed, please subscribe to our channel. And uh, if you want to find out when our next video comes out every week, hit that notification bell below. And uh, that'll send you a notification when our next video comes out, which we try to send them out every week. Thanks a lot for learning more about our farm, and we sure appreciate it.